This is uh, uh, truly one of my favorite days of the year. So, uh, before we get into the introduction, a few uh, few brief comments. We just want to start off to get the party started. I and mean, when you're on Holy Cross campus, when I say choo choo, you say choo choo, choo choo, choo choo. Here we go. Who wants to get in on the kickoff team tonight? <laughs> Feel might be a little slick, so you want to go with the long plates. So, in any event, uh, I do know a number uh, of people here. Um, it's always great to get uh, be together. For those who I don't know, uh, I'm Larry Doyle, I'm the chair of the Gridiron Leadership Council. On behalf of the alumni who are involved with with our council, as well as uh, the the athletic office where we jointly run uh, this program, it is truly great to be uh, with all of you today. Again, we look around. This is a quality crowd. So, no doubt about that. Why else is it a great day? We're on perhaps the most, not perhaps, we're on the most beautiful college campus in the nation, okay? Third reason why it's a great day, at 5.45 this, uh, this afternoon, it becomes Fitton Field of Dreams. So, and that is truly special. The only thing that uh, is not a given today, because all these are, are, other, uh, are givens, is the outcome of the game, but in speaking with the coach, guaranteed victory so <laughs> so for all those reasons this is truly a special day but as I was again telling somebody before the greatness of today is really based on the seeds of inspiration that were planted looking back 40 50 and 60 years ago to think of the men that we're honoring today and when they walked across this campus on that practice field and across on fit and field, the impact that they had on their teammates and their classmates. And again, I'm in the, in the catbird seat because when the, uh, the honorees were announced in May, invariably I get, over the course of the, this is our fourth year, I'll get emails or phone calls from teammates and classmates who will say, let me tell you about this fellow. Hearing about John Turco, run like the wind, running to glory at Fenway Park. Hearing about Tommy Green leading the Crusaders to victory over Syracuse and other, you know, big, team, uh, big teams all around the East. Me personally watching Dave Quayle go airborne when I was 14, 15 years of age. Thought he was Superman. So, but again, those were the seeds that they, that they planted that we're harvesting now in a very similar fashion. The inspiration that's on display today we're planting these seeds so that people 30, 40, 50, 60 years from now can look back at these individuals as well as this program and the names that are going to be on display for perpetuity at Britain Field and say, you know what? The Holy Cross family takes care of their own. And that is truly special. So on that note, give me a choo-choo. <laughs> That's right. So. <laughs> that said, again, it's great to be with you. I do want to uh, acknowledge a few people uh, who are here. Tracy Barlock, Head of Development. Uh, welcome to Holy Cross. Tracy's been here for about a year now, over right. a year. That's right, thank and, you. And uh, doing a fabulous job. Uh, so, career, I think it was a record year. It was a record year. So, nice, yeah. uh, outstanding. Thank you. Um, thank all of you. <laughs> yep, outstanding. Uh, and I also want to uh, both really acknowledge and say thank you. We wouldn't be here, and we would not have a Gridiron Leadership Council if, uh, if not for five years ago when we presented the, uh, the idea of the council and these programs to Dick Regan. So when we presented these ideas, Dick took, uh, took these ideas and, uh, and got them approved. So again, uh, Dick, thank you very much for all your support. I want to uh, congratulate him on all that he has accomplished uh, here at Holy Cross and uh, certainly wish him you know, all the best as, uh, as you move on to your next endeavor, you know, whenever that is. So, okay, thank you. <laughs> on, that, on that note, on that note uh, the next part of the program, Dick, please come on up and... Thank you very much, Larry. I'd like to welcome all of you here to the, this is now an annual event, this is the fourth annual ceremony to honor some of our all-time greats in the sport of football. And if you think about it for a second, Holy Cross has been playing football since 1896. That's 118 seasons. This is our 118th or is it 119th? We've been playing 118 years of college football. 
And when you think about how many great players we've had over the years, to be one of the first groups to get up on that wall in our stadium, what an accomplishment that is. I mean, it's awesome if you think about it. We've got 13 names up there right now. So you two are in the first, uh, you three are in the first 16. And it's an incredible accomplishment. And I think it's something that each of you should be proud of. And I think it's quite a statement as well. Um, let me tell you a little bit about Holy Cross, because I get these questions a lot. I've been here uh, a long time. Yeah, I'm in my 16th year here. And I always get questions, you know, has it changed much since you were there in the 70s? And, and when I tell people uh, the same thing all the time, they say, let me tell you something. The world has changed a lot more than Holy Cross has. We're still attracting the, the types of students that, that come here today who are attracted to Holy Cross. We're the same type of students that we all went to Holy Cross with. They look a little different. They do different things. They have different habits in their, the world. Like I said, the world's changed dramatically. But Holy Cross has remained at its core what it always was. It's a, an institution that attracts people with values. We develop those young men and women into men and women for others. And they leave here, and they represent the college well. And we're always proud of the people that come through Holy Cross and other people. I've, uh, we had a coach that left and recently went to Harvard, and I was talking to her about it, and she commented on the difference in the type of the Holy Cross kids. They're great people that care about things, that come from values, <coughs> families that care, that have values. It's something that's in our DNA, and it sort of distinguishes us as someplace special. So to be a Holy Cross graduate is something that everyone in this room should feel very good about. I do. I'm third generation. My daughter was fourth. It's a tremendous place, and better than anything else, what we do is we develop young men and women into marvelous people that contribute to society in so many different ways. And it's going to be easy to talk about the three people tonight because they're people that have represented us very well. 